Okay, now in this video, let us look at some common sets in mathematics. And it is very important to know the letters that are used to represent the sets. And because you will be coming across these again and again, so it is very worthwhile just to commit them to your memory that just so that you don't get confused when there are references to these common sets that are used in mathematics. Now we first start with the set of natural numbers and this is something that we have already learned earlier. The natural numbers are the numbers which we just start counting and they start from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. And that is represented by the capital letter N. So this is the natural set and the natural set or the set of natural numbers is an infinite set. There are uncountable elements in that. The second common set is the set of integers. Now we know that integers kind of give us the idea of also having the negative numbers along with the positive numbers and the zero. And we represent the set of integers by the capital letter Z. So if you look at the set of integers, it extends all the way towards the left hand side towards the infinity and also towards the right hand side towards infinity so it is an infinite set it extends in both the directions in the direction of negative numbers and in the direction of positive numbers as well this third set is the set of rational numbers now if you recollect uh, the rational numbers are those numbers which have the form 7 by 5 or 2 by 3 which is kind of equivalent to the fractions and the ratios that we have learned so to put it in mathematics or in, in set theory we would use the letter Q comprises Q is the set of rational numbers is comprised of all the, the, the elements X where X is in the form of P by Q okay and this is kind of just describing how a rational number is represented so where p and q belong to z now remember that these two could be integers so i'm just using z here the z which is a set of integers and q must not be equal to zero this is just kind of ensuring that we are defining a rational number so q is the set of rational numbers and as you know that the q is an infinite set which means there are infinite rational numbers let us look at the next common set that is the rational numbers now what are the irrational numbers the numbers that are not rational so the way we put it is t we use the letter t to represent irrational numbers comprises of all the elements x where x is defined as belonging to real numbers and i'll define these real numbers just next but x belongs to real numbers and x does not belong to q this is the important condition it is not rational it is just another way of saying all the real numbers that are not rational that is what is an irrational number and it is an infinite set and just to kind of refresh some of the irrational numbers are like root 2 root 5 and pi which is like the most common irrational number that we do encounter now let us look at the next set the biggest set of all is the real numbers and what how do you define a real num set of real numbers so we have r equals to all elements x where x is either a rational number or it is an irrational number so essentially what i'm saying is the set of real numbers consists of all the rational and the irrational numbers so this was about the common sets now let us look just look at some few relationships between the common sets so the natural numbers are a subset of integers which is kind of pretty intuitive because we know that the natural number starts from 1 2 3 4 and so on and and, and when we add integers we kind of have zero actually adding zero makes it the whole numbers and then we have minus 1 minus 2 and so on in this so this forms the natural number n right so n natural number is a subset of integers and integers are actually subset of rational numbers right we do know about this now let us look at the second one now this part here it says that irrational numbers are a subset of the real numbers and irrational numbers are also a subset of real numbers because we define real numbers to be all the rational as well as irrational numbers and the other property 
which is just kind of pretty intuitive is that natural numbers are not irrational. That's what we are saying. Natural numbers do not belong to the set of irrational numbers. So these are the common sets and some of the most obvious properties of the sets. In the next video, we continue our discussion further on the sets.